Last year was a record-breaking one in terms of visits to the national parks, the country's best idea. There were 331 million recreation stays a third consecutive all-time attendance record for the National Park Service NPS. This summer more people are expected to go and explore. Don't be discouraged by the numbers. Enjoying solitude and getting in touch with nature, as opposed to annoying tourists, during your vacation is possible. Go early in the morning, become a morning person for the day, and you won't regret it. Be at the park as the sun rises. You'll get to see stunning views with no annoying buzz around. Also, being there this early, certainly before 8.30 a.m., almost guarantees you that you'll have the park to yourself for a few hours. The parking lots of more popular park full up even earlier than that. Or late in the evening arrive just in time to see the sunset it always makes a photo look absolutely magical this is also the time when most people are leaving or going back to their camps crowds thin out this is also the time to see wildlife many animals become more active at night this is also when mother nature puts on one of her best displays just look up at the stars Go hiking, most people will stay in their cars and drive from one attraction to another. Be a cooler adventurer and walk. Experience off the beaten path and soak in the unique views you'll see along the way. Hug the trees, touch centuries old rocks, and even swim in lakes. Even a short hike will most likely be the highlight of your day. See the back country. Backcountry trails are a great alternative. They offer the same scenery in terms of jaw-dropping panoramas. In many parks, even the most visited ones such as Yellowstone, you'll find hundreds of backcountry trails and campsites, including some along beaches. See what the wilderness is really about. Some lesser-known hikes are even accessible from the main entrance of the parks. Take the shuttle. Some national parks, such as the Grand Canyon, Glacier and Bryce Canyon, have shuttles. Use them. They are free. Bonus, you are saving what park rangers and management are trying to preserve. Mass transit system helps minimize vehicle congestion, keeping the air and the surroundings clean. Spend the night. Spending the night in national parks is popular at designated and more modern campsites. Reservation is often required, but you can make a campsite almost anywhere in the park. Set up a tent by breathtaking waterfalls, majestic lakes and rivers, red rocks, tall rocky spires and cliffs, and sleep under the stars. Go Mondays and Tuesdays. Avoiding the weekend is a no-brainer, but try not to go on Thursday and Friday. People would usually take these days off work if they want more than just two days to visit a park, resulting in crowds that can be just as big as on Saturday and Sunday. Explore lesser-known parks. No doubt you've heard of the Great Smoky Mountains, the Grand Canyon and Yosemite. They are among the most visited national parks every year. For every park where masses of tourists frustrate you and prevent you from reconnecting with nature, there's a magnificent piece of land someplace else that's wonderfully wild and uninhabited. Some of the least visited parks include Gates of the Arctic in Alaska, Isle Royale in Michigan, North Cascades in Washington, and Dry Tortugas in Florida. Go for a picnic. You can set up almost anywhere, even at areas that are not specifically designated for a picnic. Just avoid the restaurants as they often get very crowded, especially around the usual meal times like lunch. Skip the lines and the food of questionable quality. Save your time, money and sanity. Ask the rangers, go on ranger-led nature walks or just ask them for advice. They are by far the best and most reliable source of information. Who else is going to tell you where to find less traversed trails, which attractions are not as well known, and when is the best time to see the ones that are? Go on a tour. Consider a tour company. The guides usually know their stuff and they can take you to see some amazing hidden gems in the park where crowds are non-existent. Also, tour groups have limited spots available. Just make sure you book one in advance because they fill up quickly in the summer.